So I'm going to show you guys how to create Scarlet's form. Um, let me see when she boots up. So basically, if you go to one of my repositories here at GitHub, I have one under Dead Report 77 and Rythorian 77. Um, and you want to go to the one that you see right here at this address. And if you were to go to repositories, you're going to see this Scarlet speech recognition at the top. Um, you guys need to know that I study malicious code as well, and I develop antivirus. And to do that, you need to study bad code. So um, if it says for educational research only, or if it has, you know, little danger warnings that this is malware, do not use it. Um, do not go to those or use them um, unless you are an experienced software developer. Um, if they are bad, they will be listed as bad. If they are not bad, they will not be listed as bad. Um, that much I can promise you. I'm not a malicious dick. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on Scarlet Speech Recognition. And when we go in here, uh, we go under Resources. And if you were to go ahead and scroll down, this is the original Scarlet's uh, code that you had seen. Um, this is what it, it used to look like when it was very basic and I was um, just getting into the whole development end of speech recognition systems, um, which I am far more advanced in now. Plus, this is in C sharp. So if I scroll down, um, this is where you guys are going to get your images uh, that you're going to want to be able to design Scarlet because I've made some of my own GIFs, at least the one of Scarlet. The other ones, by fairness, I got at jiphy.com. That's G-I-P-H-Y.com. So if I scroll down, this is a little, one of the things you want, and you can right click on this and just go to save image as, and it will save it as a GIF. And you're gonna want that. And you're gonna wanna scroll down a little bit more and you're going to want this image of Scarlet, and you would do the same thing. You would just go to Save Image, and you'd save it as a GIF. So once you have those two, you're in pretty good shape, and now you're going to need like a logo for Scarlet. So what do we do for the logo for Scarlet? Um, well, you could go to, um, I'm actually going to use Google for this one. I use Ecosia. Um, it's pretty decent. But if I were to type in, you know, Scarlet, um, which logo, and go to images, you're going to see some of the symbols and, you know, you're going to start seeing different little things as we go. This is basically where I went. And I what I did is I got this picture and then I ended up cropping it. Um, let's say I wanted to get this image okay. So we'll go to save image as, um, and I'll just save it there. Um, I'm going to close this out and go back here, and I'm going to type in um, just crop and image online. You're going to find a lot of times most of the work that you need for programs are already available to you. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And, you know, when I created the one that you saw, I just kind of brought this in. And brought this in a little bit more. And then I just hit crop image. And then you just download it and it downloads your image for you. So we have it all set now. And uh, I can go ahead and close this out. And if I were to go in open visual studios, I'm going to go to create new project. And under here, you're going to want to choose vb.net and you're going to want the windows form at .net for visual basics and then go to next. And you can name your program. You can call it whatever you want. We'll call this Wanda cause this is just going to be a, a throw out. I'm just going to show you guys how to do this form setup. Um, if you guys have worked with forms, you probably are already familiar with how to do all that. One of the first things I do is I um, go to Solution Explorer 
and I usually convert to 64-bit under properties. If you go to configuration properties, um, you go to any CPU, go to new, and it'll automatically bring up 64. You go OK, close, OK. 64-bit uses less memory than 32. 86 is the same as 32. So you can keep jumping up the ladder and it's not going to do you any good unless you stay at 64. Um, so we have a form here and one of the things I want to do first is go to properties and I want to for one change the default location to center screen. Um, I want to make this so um, you go to sizable and you go to none. So now we can go and change the background to active black and now we're starting to get somewhere. Now we're going to go into our toolbox um, under view and we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a picture box. We're going to drop one in here. We're going to just have this one be our, this one will be for our logo. Which we'll drop right here. This is a little wider than it needs to be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. And then you go ahead and click on this little arrow up here. And you're going to tell this to um, stretch image. Go here, go to local, go to import. And um, I have my logo here that's cropped. I can tell because it has the number one there. Hit OK. And as you can see, that's all set to go. So now we're going to put in another picture box. And this one we're going to keep about here. We're going to grab a corner. And we're going to set it here. We're going to go through the same process. Auto stretch. We're going to choose an image. Now, I'm going to go into my resource where I already have um, a picture of Scarlet. Um, which I'd go to my desktop, I'd go to repos. And I would go to resources. Go to all files. Okay, so that's not there. Okay, so that's going to obviously be difficult. So what I'm going to do is go back into here. Uh, I'll go to GitHub. <clears throat> and I'll go back to resources. And I'll just download this real quick. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. I want to go to dead report over here. So I'm going to just skip down here and I'm going to save this image and I will um, have that and then I can just close this back out and go back to here. And now that I have that image, go to local resource, go to import and I have it right here. Go ahead and pop that in as you can see. Now we can bring this down a little bit and I'm going to tell this to send back. You just right click on it and tell it to send back. So I can go ahead and grab this and pull it down so it kind of matches up to here. You always want Scarlet to this image to, to be in the very back. Um, and now I can go here and get another picture box. Go ahead and put it here. Earlier in the tutorial, when I told you I had some buttons behind the form, I only need to keep the f button one. I didn't need to have button two. Um, I left it there just because. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and I'm going to hold down on Control C, then Control V, and make another one so it's exactly the same size. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose an image, go to Import, and we want this little other thing here. 
which I can't remember which one it is. Um, maybe this, nope, it's definitely not that. Um, I don't think I grabbed that one either, so I'll have to go back here and I'll grab this one as well. I'll save image. Sorry about that, I'm pretty tired tonight. I know it's probably confusing for you guys. So I'll go ahead and click this on, and now we have that. Um, and we want to tell this to stretch image so it fits in the center. And we're going to go here and do the same. Go here. Click OK. And now we have that. Just need to check my time. Okay. So we have that all set now. And close all this out. Now, if I were to um, go ahead and click start. You guys see that I have Scarlet's form here and it's all ready to go. And that is how you create Scarlet's form. You can make these bigger here if you wanted. Um, that's totally optional. Um, say you wanted to, you know, make it maybe a little bit bigger or whatever. I can just leave it like that. And this form can be pulled up. And this is already sitting in the back this form so when it comes back on it's it's going to be sitting just like that and that's how you create scarlet's form so that conducts this tutorial <laughs>